to my channel. It's your girl Sean and I'm back for another video. In this video today I'm going to be sharing with you guys three ice cream recipes. Now I'm somebody who's on keto as you guys know but I'm not interested in giving up ice cream as a part of this new ketogenic lifestyle that I've adopted. And so if you watch my what I eat in a day video and you watch my grocery haul you know baby girl likes to eat. Okay and I'm like I'm trying to find different alternatives and different ways for me to eat my favorite comfort foods and some of my favorite things but kind of putting my own little keto twist on them and ice cream is one of those foods that I have not discovered a good healthy alternative at least until now. So I'm going to be working with a company called Fit Freeze in this video. They actually sent me over their ice cream mix. This is their vanilla ice cream mix. It also comes in like chocolate. This is supposed to have as much fiber and protein as one of those whey protein shakes. It has less carbs, less sugars, all those kind of things. If you're looking for a healthier ice cream alternative, this may be right up your alley. Whether you're on keto or not, if you love ice cream but you hate the calories <laughs> and you hate the pounds that it packs on, you may be interested in this. So I I thought I'm gonna actually go downstairs and show you guys three different dessert options that you can do using this without any further ado let's go to my kitchen all right let's get started with some strawberry cheesecake pops one of my absolute favorite desserts is strawberry cheesecake so I'm adding some of the vanilla fit freeze powder in there I'm also adding some water some fresh cut strawberries and then lastly I'm going to be adding some uh, two tablespoons of this fat-free, sugar-free uh, cheesecake mix. Now they asked for a natural cheesecake mix, but I didn't find that, so I have this fat-free, sugar-free alternative. I'm just gonna blend all of that up, and then I'm gonna pour this into my little popsicle molds right here. This is the first time I ever did this in my life, <laughs> so I didn't realize you're supposed to pour it up a lot higher, so you definitely wanna do that for your future references. But yeah, you wanna pour it up a little bit higher, place the little sticks in there, and pop this bad boy into the freezer, and then wait for it to harden. Okay, so it's been hours later, a couple hours later, and I'm just now trying the strawberry cheesecake one. I should have poured it down a little bit more, but that doesn't bother me. But I'm gonna see if this one tastes like strawberry cheesecake. This doesn't taste like it's supposed to be healthy. The strawberry cheesecake popsicles were insanely good, but I'm in the mood for something more fall-like. I've already started buying fall candles, so I decided to make the pumpkin spice ice cream. So as you see here, I just have a little bit of water that I'm pouring into my little mini blender. Then I'm going to be adding some more of the Fit Freeze vanilla ice cream uh, mix into that. I'm also going to be adding some organic pumpkin puree to this. It's like a quarter of a cup. Next up, the recipe calls for some organic honey, so I'm going to be adding that to this mixture as well. And then finally, I'm going to be adding some pumpkin pie spice, which is definitely going to bring all the flavors of pumpkin pie into this particular ice cream. It's going to taste amazing. So now that it's all blended up and it's nice and smooth, I'm gonna be adding it to this little freezer safe uh, glass jar. This is gonna make sure that I have an individual serving size. This is great for portion control as well. So as you see, it's nice and creamy. I tasted the batter <laughs> of all these just to make sure and I already knew this was gonna be good. So this is the consistency of it, which looks pretty good. Um, let's see if it tastes as good as it looks and as good as it smells. Mmm. This one tastes like pie. It's definitely creamy. This one is a winner as well. Now I decided to do something completely outside of my comfort zone and that's why I tried this ice cream right here which is the coffee ice cream. Uh, I'm going to be adding a little bit of cold brewed coffee to my individual mixer. Then of course I'm going to be adding more of the Fit Freeze vanilla ice cream mix to that. And then finally you're supposed to be adding some ground coffee. I didn't have any on hand so I used some ground espresso. I should have used a lot less. <laughs> It is a rookie non-coffee drinking mistake, but I was, yeah. So it was definitely a bit powerful, but um, yeah, if you use the ground coffee, I'm sure it'll be a lot more tasty for you. That's my mistake. So now we're gonna blend everything up and we're just gonna pour it into this glass uh, freezer safe jar. If you add a little bit of sugar-free chocolate syrup, it's gonna taste like a Jamocha shake, so I definitely recommend that. All right, so now I'm gonna give this one a try. Like I said, this is the coffee flavored one. And that one is powerful. I used um, espresso because I didn't have any regular ground coffee, so the coffee flavor is like personified. <laughs> I think it would be a little bit better if I had just used regular ground coffee. I think I can find a way to make this into a Jamocha shake type dupe. 
All right, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Be sure to thumbs up if you did. Also, huge thank you to Fit Freeze for sending me over all of these goodies and also for sponsoring this video. I genuinely appreciate it. I'll link them below so you guys can check them out. If, whether you're on keto or not, if you love ice cream but you hate the calories and you hate all the bad stuff that ice cream has in it, you want a healthier alternative to ice cream, this may be right up your alley. So I'll be sure to link them below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time, later divas and dudes. Thank you.